This is my journey for a job interview in Nottingham. Let's go! Hi guys, I'm Najmi and today I'm gonna go to Nottingham. So basically, due to COVID-19, the entrance has changed and we have to take a different route because obviously they want to have the safety precaution. Actually, UK is still in a partial lockdown so you can see less people in the station, stores are closed and it's always good to stay safe. And remember, don't forget hand sanitizer. So I just want to show you how the King Cross station looks like. In this station, you can take Thames Link, the Northern Line and so on. But this is not where I will take my train. So let's go to St Pancras. It's not far, it's just across the street. Let's go. So there it is, St Pancras station. This is where I will take my train. Face mask bar everywhere, as you can see there. Even the workers wear face masks. So let's enter the station and let's see the platform that I will be in. According to the ward, no, it's not yet out. So this is going to show you the EMR collect ticket machine where you bought your online ticket and you can collect your ticket here. So basically you just enter your reference number and voila, you get your ticket. It's kinda interesting to see birds in the station. So not a lot of people here and that's why I cook my own lunch. It's very good because it's hard to find halal food in the center of London amidst this COVID-19 where a lot of shops closed down. So this is inside the train station and as you can see there are a lot of shops where you can go and buy stuff but usually people don't buy here because you know first it's expensive and also why you want to go to the train station to buy stuff. Usually the station will be crowded with people but because of COVID-19 there are many people here. And this is your star where I usually take to Mifara if it's cheap but otherwise I would just take a bus because it's cheaper than your star. So this is the view of the St. Pancras above the platform because the platform is at the top and it's not that interesting to see from above. So this is the St. Pancras board where you can check anything. You can check your departure time, you can check your arrival time, your platform is on. So you can see that, the platform is there. Platform is 1, to Nottingham and it's boarding. Let's go to Nottingham. So this is the inside the train, it looks very cozy and always remember to have a safety precaution with you because they don't allow you to sit near to each other, you have to abide by rules like 2 meters apart from each other. So she says is very important here in the UK. Now let's go to my destination. The leg room is good for tall people or for anyone, it's very comfortable. You don't have to squeeze your leg or anything. So I just want to show you how the common village scenery in the UK here. As you can see, it resembles a lot like Malaysia with trees and so on. Look, there's like one housing area in the center of I don't know where. I just wonder how they go buy food and so on. No, because there's literally nothing over there. Probably there is a few local community shops, but who knows. But besides of housing area, you can see a green scenery. And along the way, I found this cooler of nuclear reactor or basically an industrial cooler. It's kinda huge. I'm so tired right now because I haven't arrived yet. I am nearly arriving to Nottingham. This is the station. Now it has been almost 1 hour and 45 minutes. Now I'm here, just arrived and it's good to be walking again. Now let's go to my place. And this is a tram city center you can take and of course you always can take bus because they use bus here they don't have tube like in London but for the sake of this log I'm just gonna walk so I'm gonna show you the surrounding I'm gonna show you how Nottingham looks like so you can see that it's different from London where there aren't a lot of buildings and even if there are buildings it's very short compared to London obviously because it's a city so it's kind of village area sorry I mean it's kind of town area and this is the path that I take to my place. And I found this one peculiar cave. It's very peculiar for me. That's why I shot it. 
And yeah, this is a common housing area, like typical area in UK where you can see a lot of buildings like this. And of course the bus stands on its stands because that's what bus stand stands for. And this is the area where I will be staying. Isn't that good actually? Full of houses and just a few shops. So basically if you want to buy something, you have to go to the town. And this is the cathedral. And the house basically looks like this all the way. And there isn't any difference from one house to another. And this is my house, the Jubilee house. I booked this place because it's cozy. Now let's go inside and explore what's inside. Hmm, looks nice there. So as you can see right off the bat, you can see a common area or living room, you will say. So there's a table, a mirror, a television, a couch for you to sit, and also a painting for decoration. And this is the kitchen. It's very good. In the it's very nice. I use it. And this is a shower and the bathroom. Now let's go upstairs to my room. Room number three. Here I go. Look at the room. It's very nice. The double bed and also how it arrange, how the coziness of this room is just too good to be true for such a very great price. Such a bargain. So here I go, starting my journey for the interview. Some makeover is important to be presentable. It's always good to leave a good impression because they might expect something good for you if you do well. And as you can see here, it's at 6 a.m. Around 6 to 30 a.m. o'clock. And it's bright because, you know, it's spring and near the summer. And it's so windy and breezy. It's very cold. I just decided to take an Uber because so lazy to walk to the station and the bus is not frequent as well and this is the train that I will take to Newstead right now it's around 7 o'clock in the morning let's go follow through my journey so after approximately 20 minutes I arrived here and now I'm gonna show you around this is the place of Newstead. It's a village area. If you Google it in Google Map, you just can't barely see anything. It has nothing, basically. Just house and a place where, you know, some people meet their parents here. It's like Kampong in Malaysia. And even the train station is so simple. Just a platform and a waiting stand. Now I'm gonna show you around this place because it's interesting. Let's go! So I just stopped here just to shot this beautiful scenery. So you can see that there's a talk over there and a couple of cars, a couple of vans. This is how kampung it is. And there's even cow's poop in the middle of the pedestrian way. So there's a lot of chucky, a lot of dolls, annabelles, whatever you call. It. And it's very daunting if you go at night. As you can see, this is the school. Can you believe it? This is the school. Yes, it's made of bricks. Bricks are common here and they don't paint. Why? Because they just like bricks. And it's scary too if you drive at night. So you better be careful if you drive around this place. A lot of dolls here for a school. I wonder why they do this. Not sure. And this forest is very bizarre. It's like Enchanted Forest in Snow White. But it looks very important. And everything is common like Malaysia. Let's go. It's so common you can see trees around you. While you're here, you can see a lot of vents, a lot of trucks passing back and forth. Because the industrial zone is just right there. This is a new start village place where I will have my interview at. So I just decided to take Uber because it's very good and it's very far away from the company. So this is the post interview and this is the place where we take my train back to London and it's very sunny. I don't know why but I can't see anyone from the morning until now. Probably because and the population is small. As you can see there, still the scenery hasn't changed. There aren't a lot of people. And let's talk about the interview. So I would say you go to interview or anything, you just want the experience. You get it or you're not. It's not you to who you to decide. But of course, you have to try hard. You have to always do your best during the interview. Like for me, I try my best. Whatever the result comes to me, I just accept it. Because you always cannot get what you want. Because there's a little path, the good path with awaits for you in the future that you don't know. So you just have to wait. Meanwhile, if you enjoyed this scenery, I just want to say this is my journey to Nottingham. It teaches me to be independent and I really appreciate all the experience that I've been through. Go here alone, you know, 
it's such a rare experience i would say like we cannot get it in malaysia because you know this is a foreign country where you have to survive yourself and i like survival and whatever the result is accept it the same goes to you whatever you have in the future if you have an interview you have a good interview session or you think that you did your best and so on if you don't get it means that it's not for you just have to move on and always try to find the best solution to improve yourself for future interview or anything that's it sign out